Hey everyone, it's Joe Beethoven, and here I am, still playing as Spider-Man two days later. In all honesty, I haven't played that much of him. I've only played like a couple hours at a time. I know there are some people who have already maxed him out, and that's really, really impressive, but I just don't have the stamina for that. But some weird things have been happening over the past couple days of playing as Spider-Man, and I just felt like talking about them, giving you a quick update on days two through three of my time playing as Spider-Man in Marvel's Avengers. So things started off pretty standard enough. I was completing more challenges, leveling up slowly. It was going fine, you know, still repetitive. You're not imagining things. Some of this footage looks identical to the last time, but honestly, this is just me doing new missions that have the exact same objectives and environments. You know, that there was no change. Repetitiveness continues. But, you know, I've been unlocking more of the story as I go along, the quote-unquote story. I met Liz Allen and talked to her for a bit, and she's a very boring character who essentially acts as an exposition machine, an expression I've used before on this channel. She just stands there and tells you about what's going on with Allen Chemicals. You know, that's it. That's all she does. That's the character development she's getting. She gets a little bit more in the text messages, but still, those are still just text messages. What's incredible is the conversations with Liz still aren't cutscenes. They're just you standing there receiving information from her. And it's really dull. It feels like listening to a text message, except there's a face on the other end. It's, it's still not interesting. And then, of course, later on, I unlocked a conversation with her brother Raxton, I think which has to take the cake for, like, dumbest name ever. I apologize to anyone out there who actually is named Raxton, or I think it's Raxton. I don't know. It's something like that. I don't like the name, is my point. And still, once again, talking to him was just some more information about what to do next, which is just immediately followed up by an objective to beat someone up in a specific way. Yeah, that makes sense that that would move the story forward somehow. Dodging and then punching someone. That Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. I get that. Anyway, point is, story continues to be thoroughly underwhelming for Marvel's Avengers version of Spider-Man. What is interesting is what happened to me after version 1.54, the new update, dropped. I don't know if this has happened to you. If it has, please comment below and let me know. But I suddenly started getting showered with high-level gear. I was power level, like, 40 when day two was going on. I think it was 44, maybe. And by the end of that day, I was at power level 97 because I don't know where every single mission I did was giving me ridiculously high power level gear. I don't know if this was the intention of the update, if it was a glitch, if this was them trying to make sure everyone had a better chance of actually maxing out Spider-Man. I don't know. But in a few hours, of just a few more hours of play, I actually surpassed Captain America as Spider-Man. Captain America, who I have had as my main since I first unlocked him in the game, is now actually behind Spider-Man. Captain America is at 109, and Spider-Man is at 112 in the power level. How did this happen? I'm actually kind of ashamed because I had made it my personal goal to max out Cap first. I'm kind of sad. It wasn't really my fault because they kept throwing this gear at me for every little thing that I did in the game. It just wouldn't stop. And so here I am with Spidey feeling more overpowered than ever before. And it is kind of fun going around just beating up fools with my high heroic rating. It is fun. And um, honestly, as he gets more skills, Spidey gets more fun. The different moves he gets with his webs and different dodge attacks that he gets, they're cool. Honestly, I'm enjoying myself as I play as Spider-Man. Swinging is still just it's just not working for me. I know I sound like a broken record. I sound repetitive, just like playing as Spider-Man is, but it's still the case. So what we're looking at in this developing conflict with Alan Chemicals and Advanced Idea Mechanics, honestly, this would have been a really interesting story if they had made a better version of Liz and just given her more to do than just stand there and deliver exposition. They could have made her a fully fleshed out character. Instead, in both the text message and in real life, she's just as wooden and uninteresting. I don't blame the voice actor. I blame the writing on this one. It's just not interesting. And honestly, this story about Spider-Man and his one of his oldest friends, Liz Allen, trying to take down a major corporation that is trying to help advance idea mechanics, I would play this 
I would play this story. If this were a fully fleshed out narrative, I even would have paid for this DLC. I love Spider-Man and a full on story with him and the Avengers trying to take down these multi-billion dollar evil corporations. I would have loved it and they're squandering it. And if you've watched my previous videos, you know why I think they did this. I think they did it just kind of to pander. But still, the more I play it, the more disappointed I am. Um, I don't know how this concludes. I've been avoiding spoilers so that both I could just quote unquote enjoy it myself and just share my thoughts with you genuinely without any outside influence. But, you know, unless there's like see a secret mission at the end, unless there actually is a cool ending to this and it doesn't seem like there's going to be, if it continues like this, this is just going to be a major bummer. Honestly, even though it was really cool <laughs> to suddenly jump up in power level and I am enjoying myself in some ways, this is still just not working for me. But, you know, jumping online is still fun. I'm still enjoying myself. And since maxing out Spider-Man seems to actually be pretty easy, I might max him out within the next few days. Hopefully alongside maxing out Captain America, both of which I will be preparing for the Claw Raid, which is actually something I'm interested in trying out, but I have no maxed out characters yet because I'm pretty new to this. So we'll see what happens. I'm planning on making videos, getting ready for the Claw Raid as well. But right now, Spider-Man by himself is still just, eh. I'm sorry if I sound repetitive or like a broken record, but this is just how I feel. But... Like I said, there are some pluses to playing as him, and the story itself has the makings of a really cool Spider-Man story. It's just being told in a really weak way. All right, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys another update about how I feel about Spider-Man. Uh, if you're enjoying him, if you're playing as him and enjoying him, please comment below. That's fine. I'm enjoying him kind of as well, so I'd love to talk about it. If you hate him, that's great too. Please comment below. Also... The reaction to the previous three videos has been phenomenal, and I'm really thankful for you all for liking and commenting and giving me a lot more views than ever before. I really appreciate it. Uh, I look forward to continuing on this journey with you, and I hope you will stick with me until whatever the end may be. I hope we get to go far together. All right, that's all for now. I guess I gotta go back to playing as Spider-Man. Yeah, that's how excited I feel. All right. God bless you guys, and I'll catchphrase you later, and probably see you within the next couple of days. Bye!